Hey guys, my name is Salem Sunni and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular channel, I focus on two different things, faith and entrepreneurship. My goal is to help you be more motivated, discover your purpose, and more importantly, understand that you are God's very best. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I came across a Bible verse that completely blessed me and I thought I would be able to share this with you. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 18. The New Living Translation says, when people do not accept divine guidance, they run wild. But whoever obeys the law is joyful. In the message version, it's even more interesting because it says, if people cannot see what God is doing, they stumble all over themselves. But when they attend to what he reveals, they are most blessed. And the kicker for me was in the English Standard Version where it says, where there is no prophetic vision, people cast off restraint, but blessed is he who keeps the law. So this is Proverbs chapter 29, verse 18. This particular verse was quite interesting because it tugged on one particular nerve for me, which is hearing God when you're about to make a decision. As a Christian and a follower of Jesus, I'm always constantly, whenever it might be in business, in life, in relationship, in anything that I'm trying to do, trying to figure out, okay, what is God's will about a particular decision I wanna make? Uh, first of all, I wanna say this, right? It's not every single little decision that I ask God for. God, should I take a shower today? Are you sure, God, I want to brush my teeth? Should I brush it with the Colgate toothpaste or should I use the act mouthwash? Obviously, those are not necessarily the things that I wait for God's particular answer on these things. But there are much more important decisions in which I regard God's input much more deeply and more heavily than others. This Bible verse confirmed some of the beliefs they already had. We need God to reveal to us what to do. If not, sometimes we don't know what to do or we make mistakes. Often we make mistakes because we don't have that leading with the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is not telling us, okay, you make this business decision or maybe do all these things. So maybe everything on paper looks good, right? I mean, somebody brings a business opportunity to you, like you go to one of those meetings and it's like, whoa, this is really good. And then there's something in your heart that's talking to you that's like, no, nah, really it's nothing there. Or you haven't really prayed enough and you're not spiritually aware or attentive to the fact that, you know, he's already telling you that no, this is not the right person for you. This is not the right uh, person that you should date, your girlfriend or your boyfriend. You know, everything looks right. They go to your church. They look like they're speaking tongue. They praise God. Uh, they, they have the exterior that looks fine, but there's something in your heart that keeps telling you that there's something off there, but because maybe you're not spiritually attentive enough, you're not hearing the revelation of God for your life, guess what the Bible says? You stumble all over yourself. Well, we're not attentive to what God is revealing, to what God is doing. We stumble over ourselves. And that even speaks highly to the fact that sometimes we're not very sure of what God is doing in a particular situation. It seems like God is taking way too long. My God, I've been praying about this for so long and it seems like you're doing nothing. And this Bible verse says, when we don't know what God is doing, we stumble all over ourselves. So what do you should do? The Bible says, be still and know I'm God. So in those moments of when things become difficult, God just wants you to be calm. That he's going to take care of that situation. That he's going to bring the solution to the things that hand you. He wants you to trust him. That though you walk through the valley of shadow of death, you fear no evil because God is with you. That you are covered under the shadow of the Almighty. That he said in his word plainly that he will protect you and uphold you by his righteous right hand. That he will be your protector. He said, do not be afraid. Be courageous and strong. Do not be afraid. God will always be with you. So in this particular time, I just want to be somewhat of a voice. Like it was to me, like this particular verse spoke to me. That when things are a little bit crazy, that when we're not completely sure that what we should do, we should wait. The last thing you want to do is take hasty shortcuts to your answer. The answer comes from the Lord, so you want to make sure you hear what the Lord is telling you. So maybe one of the prayer points, for those of you guys who are believers, those of you guys who believe in Jesus, is to pray, Lord, reveal your plans, your desire, your will, 
for my life in this particular moment, in this particular situation, in this particular relationship, in this particular business, in this nef next decision I have to make for the employees, for this person I want to hire, for this person I want to partner with, for this move for our church, for this move for this country, for this political decision I have to take. If you're watching this, I want you to, to really start thinking about that. Lord, help me take this decision. That should be your prayer. And I want to pray with you before I close, because some of you guys, you may not know how to pray. And the Bible says, assembly, when you pray, go to a, a closed space. Don't try to make it a scene. Don't try to do it so that others can see that you pray. But have that inner relationship with the Father. And I just want to help you pray in this prayer. Just say, Lord, I need your guidance. I need your wisdom. I don't want to stumble all over myself. I don't want to run wild. I don't want to cast off restraint. I want to be able to walk in your will. What is your decision? What do you want me to do in this particular thing I have to do? This particular person I have to accept? This particular situation that is presented to me? I need your revelation. I need your prophetic word for this particular moment in my life. Reveal it to me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That's it. I pray that you get that answer, you get that word, that you get it specifically and you'll know what next step to do. And if you do and you get that answer, make sure you let me know in the comment section. I would love to hear from many of you guys. Remember to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if it blessed you. Subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, you are God's very best. See you next time.